Let's for a second imagine a certain crazy guy gets to be president of the United States and for a crazy reason presses the big red button and plunges the planet into a nuclear winter. Now since most of our energy sources are directly or indirectly related to the sun, so what renewable energy sources would be available? The moon would still be there, I hope, and the moon is the major influence on the tides. So the tides would keep going in and out twice a day. So we could still have tidal energy. And ironically, nuclear power would still work. That doesn't rely on the sun. And geothermal energy also would still be around. That relies on the decay of radioactive isotopes and gravitational collapse in the Earth's crust. So let's define renewable energy. It is theoretically inexhaustible and naturally replenished in a reasonable time frame. It took millions of years to make oil, but the sun will come up again tomorrow. Here's a little video of some different sorts of energy. See if you can identify if they are renewable or non-renewable. Geothermal energy. Compressed natural gas. Coal. Hydroelectric. Gasoline, oil, windmills, solar energy, biomass burning, that is burning trees, or some sort of biomass digester, which makes gas that you can burn. Well, if you're looking closely, you'll see the ones that were tagged with green balloons were renewable, and the ones with red balloons were non-renewable. So here's a quick summary of the renewables and non-renewables. And you could argue about nuclear power. Some nuclear stations, some nuclear power stations make fuel for other nuclear power stations, and some don't. 